desktop ID and uh, from that uh, to the Arduino board you have to connect. So you will be going to use this uh, USB printer cable. If you use the installer, Windows from XP up to this version 10 will install drivers automatically as soon as you connect to your So you will need to select the entry in the tools, this is the board menu, so that corresponds to your Arduino or Geno board it is going to be. So here you can see that here, it has been shown here, the Arduino is there, uh, tools you are going to use this Arduino, you know, you know, boards so that you can select like this here, then the port you have to select it is uh, COM6 the Arduino board it is going to be then you have can use this open your uh, first sketch so uh, you can use this uh, editor is going to be uh, written in the uh, sketch the programs they can write it over there so here the examples have been shown some of the things here the file examples is there in built already built in examples so there's a blink and the program is there which it is going to be used for the blinking of the um, LED light upload this particular program now simply click on the upload button in the environment wait for a few seconds you should see a receiver and transmitter LEDs on the board is flashing if the uh, Upload is successful. The message is saying done uploading. So we'll appear this in the our uh, status bar. A few seconds later, the upload finishes. You should see the pin number 13. That is LED. So that pin uh, on the board uh, starts blinking. The I can see here some of the program that it is going to be present here. Uh, the open file is there, save file is there. So verify means it is going to get uh, validated. Then we can upload the particular file. Then you want to create the new file that you can use it here. This is a sketch is one of the um, it's inbuilt uh, id it is going to be that is going to be used here okay so text editor this is going to be the output is going to be seen over here so what are the operations of that file and all these things that it is being mentioned in this there is a new user which is going to be opens a new text editor window over the right of the documents then open is there to use for the opening of the existing code and open recent so if it is closed then that is going to be get open so over here uh, sketchbook so it stores the list of codes you have been written project so there's another one of the folder where uh, all the data are going to be present in that particular location only and examples that it is by default examples are going to be there where that is going to be already it is being shown there uh, so some of the examples are already built in so that you can use it then there's a close option where it is going to close that particular tab uh, and saves the program is going to get closer and here uh, saves means it is a saving for the recent program that it is going to be save as as you all these things yeah, you have been knowing it so uh, as a common uh, file options it is going to be that is going to be used for this then there is a technical specification for uh, this Arduino. What are the things it is going to be there in this? So you can see that there is a microcontroller there, the specification. Then how much operating voltage that it is going to take, this is a input voltage, how it is recommended and input. Maximum limit it is going to be there. Digital uh, I.O. pins are going to be there. And uh, digital I.O. pins. That is PWM pins, there are six are there. Analog input pins, there are six are there. The points it is going to be 
this is the current power, how much that it is going to be per I open, how much it is going to drop. So maximum of uh, 20 microamps. Then uh, this is current uh, for 3.3 volt spin. So it is going to be 50 microamps. There is a flash memory is also there. With 32 kb, 18 mega 328 uh, p for this. Then there is a boot loader is already it is inbuilt in that. Then there is a serial RAM is there with uh, 2 KB, 80 m, 80 mega, 328 P. E electrically erasable prom it is going to be E prom as a 1 KB it is going to be. Then uh, uh, clock speed is uh, of this particular board is 16 megahertz. Then AD built-in is there, the number 13 that is going to be, and the length is there, maximum that length of that uh, board, 68.6 millimeter and width, so, so width, weight for that is maximum of 25 grams it is going to be. Okay. Now let us see that uh, how, in which language that we can write the programming. Now we have seen that how it is uh, ID is going to be present and uh, all those things then uh, let us see that how we can write the programs in this which are the language that is going to be used for this the Arduino ID supports that uh, majorly the C and C++ is in the special rules for coding and the structure now the ID that is a uh, Arduino board the ID supplies a software library from the wiring project which provides some many common input and output procedures. So the user written code only it requires two basic functions that is one is uh, for the sketch this is on uh, language so where uh, that is going to be the important thing uh, starting with the sketch the main program loop is that is going to be compared with the with the main there's a program that is a, a function is a into a executable cycle as the program is placed in the GNU tool G. it is also included in the ID distribution one example is that here blink example as already it is being discussed over there the most Arduino boards contain uh, a light emitting diode that is LEDs and the current limiting resistors CLRs, connected between the pin 13 and the ground so which is a convenient feature for many test and program functions a typical programs a typical program used by the beginners is usually hello world some blame so which is repeatedly blinks on the board and integrated with the Arduino board it is going to be. So this program uses the functions pin mode, digital write and delay. Three things. So let us see that how it is going to be. So hash define LED pin 13. So this is a structure that it is. is a, you can see that here is a C language you can understand this so pin number 13 is being attached now when we define it is going to be attached the wide setup is there wide is used for the data type is used for not going to return anything over here this is used for the setup pin mode uh, ad pin and output so that ad pin should be the output for that so configuring the thing for the digital output now we should use for at what time that you should blink and uh, time should stop. Uh, so here uh, you can say that uh, the loop is going to be there. By loop you can say digital write. So right means it is going to be on off. So LED pin high. You are going to make it as high. So it turns on in this particular point. Then you can give the delay for a thousand milliseconds. And uh, again, if you write this, write digital write low pin, LD pin is going to be low. 
So what happens? It is which is off.